The pandemic has dampened revenue in many industries, but electronics have been relatively unscathed. Amid lockdowns and social distancing regulations, laptop and tablet sales have increased as people turn to working from home and attending classes online. Last month, Taiwan electronics makers Compel, Quanta and Pegatron posted their highest earnings so far this year. Analysts say the pandemic has lifted what is usually the low season for electronics. Amid the pandemic, working from home or attending classes online have become increasingly common. That's caused the demand for laptops and tablets to skyrocket. As demand for laptops and tablets heats up, many outlets have launched promotional deals to boost sales. If, for example, you wanted to go to a cafe, you could bring a tablet along with you. It's not a bad option. Of course, you'd rather get a larger screen. I think it'd be better. It wouldn't hurt your eyes as much. It's out with the old and in with the new. On rising demand, original design manufacturer Compal sold 4.3 million laptops in April, an increase of 16.2 percent from March. Sales have shut up for smartphones, wearable devices and tablets, especially educational tablets. The company posted revenue of around 94.3 billion NT in April, up 16.8 percent from the previous month. Meanwhile, Quanta Computer sold 4.6 million laptops in April, up 9.52 percent from March, to post 83.4 billion NT in revenue. That same month, Pegatron posted its highest monthly revenue so far this year. At 103.77 billion NT, that's an increase of 2.7 percent from the previous month. Currently, laptop and tablet sales are high. Of course, this has turned the low season into a not-so-low season. It's possible this could affect the second half of the year. Maybe the peak season won't be the peak season, because some of the demand was met in the first half. We'll have to see what happens in the second half of the year. The pandemic has wreaked havoc on many industries, forcing many of their employees to adjust their way of working. That's delivered a boon for electronics makers who hope strong earnings will continue into the second half of the year.